Nobody would have thought EV vehicles would be forefront right now on everybody's mind. You know, the, 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 the guys that are developing the control systems and the battery systems and coupling that with the drive, they're passionate about making something move. And then you've got the Garmin guys and other guys from other industries that are passionate about it being a boat. And so when you put those two passions together, they don't conflict with one another. It's a common goal to make a move. And uh, at the end of the day, we're not going to just make this move. We're going to make this move like a high performance. And that's what's going to be different than anybody else. Uh, Garmin Electronics is obviously been known for our navigation, our radar, our sonar. You know the the primary functions of operating a boat and, and navigation and so on. We've since, in the most recent years, ventured off into digital control systems. And the digital control system is a integrated system that allows us to control all the aspects of the boat, uh, from lighting to pumps to uh, temp sensors to fuel levels. And and we take that information and we present it on our Garmin screens in a user interface that uh, the consumer and the captain is now comfortable with between his iPhones and his cars and so on. But integrated into the system, as much for Voltari as it is for the consumer, is systems that are managing the boat to keep the consumer and the captain safe. We're monitoring bilge pumps, whether they're on or off. We're monitoring temperatures of these batteries, the battery banks that are so important. And we're making sure that the, they, the consumer can't do something that's gonna put them in harm's way. It's really been fascinating for us that our product, we were able to expand our product beyond what even we thought we were capable of doing. And the, the exciting part that that's bringing is we're now allowing Voltari to possibly expand what their expectations of the product were as well. Right now, I think the unexpected challenges was understanding the need of the propulsion side. So typically, our control system has been primarily focused on the boat side, lights and pumps and um, windshield wipers, simple things that, you know, that you're accustomed to seeing. With this particular project, we've now taken our modules and we've incorporated into the propulsion side. So now we're, we're looking at managing slip factors and we're looking at battery temperatures and we're, we're looking at data that Voltari has asked us to be able to interpret and utilize to give the customer the, the information they need to effectively run their boat. They've taken a very uh, strategic approach about it. The, the hull, for example, that they're going to be running with the EV motor, they've actually done a lot of benchmarking with conventional motors. So they know what this hull can do. They know what it does with the weight structure. So they, they've done a good analysis of this actual running hull. So by putting in the new propulsion system, they already have a good feel for what the performance expectations of the boat can be. So by doing that, they're able to establish some realistic goals and then be able to achieve those goals. In my perspective, they're they're going after the, the true boat consumer. Uh, so much of the EV vehicles that are out there right now are, they're focused on getting from A to B in a really relaxed, quiet atmosphere. But so many people, as we transition from gas to EV vehicles, uh, you take Tesla, for example, they're the most high performance vehicle there is, but you can get it in a family sedan. So the Voltari approach is very similar only on, in the marine industry. Half the fun of owning a boat is putting the throttles wide open and, and letting it go. And you know, putting in the three foot waves and letting the bow eat. And they're giving a product that will allow us to do that. It's not just go from A to B and, and, uh, and not have the adrenaline rush of having the power behind you. I think they're gonna set the bar and they're gonna move the standard for what an EV vehicle on the water can actually do.